Good evening, everyone. My name is Jason Meyer. And tonight on Masterworks, we're going to take a deep dive into Thomas Eakin's The Chess Players. And in um, our online classes today, we began looking a little deeper at color. So in particular, I want to look at the color in this painting. So at first, we're just going to take a look at this on the photo, big screen. Then we're going to throw it into Procreate and uh, play around with it and see what, where they're at on the color wheel, where he heads, where he comes from, all of that fun stuff. So first off, let's take a peek at who made it tonight. Susan's here. Good evening, Susan. Glad you could make it. And Claudia, 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 excellent. All right, I think this will be great for both of you in that uh, you're going to be ready to really hear this. So without further ado, why don't we take a look at Thomas Eakins, The Chess Player. Like always, take a minute and just look for yourself. What do you see? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you guys think? So why don't we take a look at the black and white version before we begin to talk about this. So in the black and white version, it's pretty easy to see the dark of the chess players, or of their clothes at least. See the dark? That's tied in with the dark right there. And then how does this compare? Would that be similar to the rocks in the landscape and then the beach in shadow? Right? There, it's a certain measure. It's a certain measure. Has he grouped his lights? Is that obvious to you guys? And two, it's just some little echoes back here. But these are secondary reads compared to these. Don't be a second one, Steven. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll let me know. All right. So evidently, I need new reading glasses because we're on Facebook instead of YouTube. So I'm glad some of you guys found me, and we'll have others joining us soon. But in the meantime, let's get a little disoriented. Can you see the pretty tight Pretty tight circle right there, isn't it? And then what's right outside this circle? Do we have these secondary kind of highlights and things? 
So we don't go from everything into nothing, but can you feel how we step off? Highlight is wonderful. Right, yeah. So what a blast in the center. Right? You can you can almost feel the concentration there. The inner circle, Claudia says. That's right. All right, well let's have a, another look in color here. And does the color throw you off or can you still see the values very cleanly? Right, but that color does have some power. Right? See the cat down at the bottom? That stronger color down there? That's a bit of a pull. It's a little bit of a pull. All right, I can't wait any longer. Let's put this thing in the machine and see what we can do. See what we can do. Okay, I intentionally wanted to start like this, again, to kind of get in a spot where you can see no details, but you can just see the big spots of the painting. All right? This is the key to the composition. You'll see it like this. You won't see it with your nose in it. Right, we knock it off axis. This is a little easier to see. So first off, I want to admit to manipulating this. Because if you'll remember, there's all this white all the way around the side of it. So I didn't do a great job, but I just went around and took that white off. So that we can get a more realistic picture of what we'd see if the frame was on without the crack, the, the white edges. And that's quite a difference. Did you guys notice that? Let's do that again. So we're going to... Look how much intensity is lost when you can see those white edges. As opposed to where just getting rid of those white edges... You see how that kind of almost just finished the painting? All right. So what I want to do today is I want to think about this in terms of color. So we brought a little friend. Brought my little friend here. The color wheel. And we talked about this in class a little bit earlier today. But what we're going to see is there's going to be some skin tone that's really light. Kind of a gray yellow. And then we have strong yellow. You guys see that? And then what's behind this guy? What color is that? Yellow. So, not only Obviously, we've got this going on, but the highest chroma, yellow, 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 yellow. 
I feel like a touch of yellow back there. Touch of yellow right there. Can you guys feel that? I want to call that a color run. So, that's closer to our white, isn't it? Our number one value. Would that be like our number two value color in yellow? Would this be our number three value gray? Yeah, I think so. We could say that. We could say that. All right, so yellow is the big deal. Yellow is the big deal. Meaning he said most right in here. Where do we go from there? Where does he go from there? Well, can't use that color anymore. Why don't we use this? That looks like a pretty strong red to me. Some pretty strong reds in there. So we're going yellow. Does that look a little red? Red, 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 red. Yeah, I think so. I'm so glad you noticed that. So Susan says, I like seeing how strong that red carpet looks, but in the black and white, it's almost the same value as the rest of the background. Exactly. So he conserved value, but he used color to create that more to less. And that's what we're kind of walking through right here. Now let's see if I can get close enough to this. What red do we, right? When we, this is what we see. Right. Can we agree on that? But let's investigate a little bit. Doesn't that look closer to cad orange? Doesn't this look a little closer to cad yellow? And you remember today when I put the white in the colors? This has a, a bit more white lighter than these darker, richer tones. Okay, you starting to see that? All right, so we got our yellow running out to the red. So now let's consider Yellow, red. But was our yellow bright? Well, it was light and neutral. And then it went a little darker and brighter on those chest pieces. And then it went darker and grayer into the background on those panels behind him. And then from the general yellow, we're going to a more intense red. Do you see that? Maybe it seems more intense because there's a larger field of it. So Susan says she thought she sees reds in the darks of the coats. Maybe there's some hint there. But what you're seeing is really the cool the cool lights and then warmer shadows. And I don't know if this is just the paint over time or if this guy was really that much lighter than these guys when it was done. I don't, I simply don't know. I don't know, but 
I suspect after looking at as many paintings as I had, this looks like, you know, when you almost need to oil it out. It's got a little bit of that feeling to me. Okay, so we've got our yellows, bright neutral yellows in the middle, light neutral, bright, a little darker, darker and grayer. Then we're going to more intense reds. And it goes, you know, yellow, orange, red. So we're going to talk about that. But what's the other color in here? Hint, hint, hint. What is that? Whoops. One more time. So what green would that be? Somewhere over here. And we got black, which is going to be in the center. So you see how this is a very warm painting? There are some kind of cool purplish feeling things in the carpet. But that's a long way from a cold blue or a really cool purple. It feels cold next to that red. So part of this richness comes from the fact that look at where this is all happening on the color wheel. So this is cold, the purples, even the cool reds. Can you guys see that? Can you see where that color is coming from? The feeling? And just for comparison, that's a completely different feeling. Where is that? Where is that on the color wheel? Well, again, there was some neutral yellows and stuff in here and some yellow greens. But then we come this way with the sky. that make sense guys so again instead of seeing all these little individual greens and individual colors can we look to see what's the overall kind of color scheme here right I mean would you call this a red based color scheme no and really that may be the best way to find color schemes is what colors lacking you know, sometimes you can kind of be overwhelmed and when you think, oh, well, where, where are the reds in here? Well, I see, I see just a touch of it in there. Now think about the carpet in Thomas Eakin's painting. I see a little bit mentioned here. I feel a little bit warm back here, but no, yellow, green, white, yellow green neutral yellow green neutral yellow green blue all right let's come back to the procreate and how are we doing on time all right we're doing okay we're doing all right You guys feel that difference? And there's also a value range difference. But this is a darker, warmer, richer. And the other one was a little bit lighter and cooler. Yeah, it had yellow in there, but then it went from yellow to green to blue. This goes yellow, orange to red. 
So speaking of that, now comes the good part. Why, 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 why on earth do we look here rather than here? Why is this stronger than that? How is this more than that? So that more or less that I'm always talking about. So that's, is that really red? That leans a little bit more towards orange. Can you see that, those lighter points? So a, a slightly lighter orange. And then we're gonna come out to a bit of a richer red in with that orange. All right, you say so a little richer red continues. And then what happens? It, the richness drags us under the table. What about that spot? You think he wants us there? No, so how did he let us go? It's just a little bit darker, grayer. And what do the edges there look like versus the edges here? So it's a combination of a few things. Why here and not here? This is slightly lighter, slightly, well, I don't know if it's technically warmer, but this feels more neutral, weaker. What about these edges? versus those edges. If you apply this paint the same way you apply that paint, it won't be a big enough difference. But by coming in with some good edges, and then we've gotta make sure you get that outside edge, right? No, there's no edge there. The little detail, don't have it here. You got some darks, but not that. And it's not right next to the guy either, is it? Right? You see how we've got all this activity and we're gonna let go a little bit here. You grab there, you grab there, you grab there. All right, I hope this is making sense. Hope this is making sense. Again, I really, for me anyway, seeing it is everything. How does that compare to this? So this is lighter and more yellow. This is darker, more green. And then darker here lighter going that way, and a little more red-orange. Similar down in here. And then look, that yellow. Is that making sense to you guys? Are you guys following that around? So he takes a few colors and he makes it work. So let's look about that green.
So it's not that he's taken this one even green and put it everywhere. You feel it right in there? How much green's over here? Uh-uh, right? Do you see how he's kept it most? Everything's designed. Everything's designed. All right, let's see. I like to see how strong it is. Let's see red in the dark because the coat's too. The dark green in the back is interesting. Uh, did you? Claudia, you saw that before I pointed it out, didn't you, Claudia? Yeah. Yeah. But again, how uneven is this? Look at the amount of warmth in this painting. You see all warm, warm, warm. Now this is kind of green, but it's still relatively warm. Warm, 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 warm. And just a little bit of that green. Little bit of that, little bit. So large variety, large variety. All right, let's see. I think the dark is interesting. Right on. So since we have it in here, let's look at the, the gallery real quick. And again, in black and white. And obviously I didn't take the time. But let's see, let's see, let's see. So what happens if we just kill this white? It's not gonna be as graceful as it should be. But look as we just kill the white, how that immediately you're drawn in. White is so powerful. Light is so powerful. Right, how fantastic. Now can we get persnickety for just a second? We're just about finished, but do you guys mind if I get a little persnickety? Come on, you guys love it when I get persnickety. Are these three guys even? Does that make it easier to see? Yeah, heck yeah, it does. Look, not only does this guy win, but look, all of his friends are how much more powerful than his friends. So subtle, 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 but it matters. All right, you can take your hood off now. So out of those last two, Oops, that's not gonna work. Come on. How about that? So let's cover this guy up now. And all his friends down here. Do you guys feel that? You feel that beautiful turn there? It should make you sick. It should make you sick. How did he do that? Right? Even without the main player. Even without the main player. Let's take my red marks off of here. You know exactly where we're supposed to be looking. Isn't that marvelous? Is that my white mark there? Oops, maybe, I don't know. Or no, that's his collar. That's his collar right there. Looked like a palette knife to me. Look at that collar. Boom. What? 
What do you think he wants you doing? Look as you come off of this face. Bam, how strong that is. Look at that beauty. Do you guys see that? Disappear and then walk. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Right? So look at these beautiful white notes, light notes, and how they change. So that whole variety and dance of light right there. So fundamentally, it's still just a light, dark pattern. Oh, but what a beautiful pattern it is. <laughs> Stop it, Claudia. Claudia is trying to get me going again. All right. <clears throat> All right. Snorting is not going to be a regular part of the show. I won't, I won't go to that level. Took us right back to the chessboard. Yeah. Yeah, it's just all right to the chessboard. Look, it's. Look how nice and even that is. Just to receive all that attention. Hey, what time is it? What time? Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Huh? Wait, can you use a cat for a ramp? Is that allowed? Hey, sit here, kitty. I need to ramp things up here a bit. Kind of crazy, huh? Now, one last thing before we go. One last thing before we go. Look at even in black and white, and I want to do, let's do a little trick here. That wasn't it. All right. So even in black and white, what happens when we take this out? So we know what the big finish is, right? And the big finish works. But look at all this movement, even within that finish. Do you see the movement on the rug there? So the shadow holds us in. That just lets us go. And look, and we're going to be focusing so much there that just a little bit, just that little bit. Talked about that winning there. That wins over there. Obviously, this is going to win here. We got the chair. And remember all the color and the cat. We talked about our main circle. And then we talked about letting go. And then outside that, it's even less. So see if you can see that as we go back. Let's go back to color and see if you can see that. So it's that letting go back into that circle, right? Claudia says it dies off. Yeah, it's like an echo. It's a statement. And da, 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 da. Like you don't want to hear me say something. Like you don't want to hear me say something. Like you don't want to hear me say something. Like you don't want to hear me say. After you said it, it's done. Leave it. Move on. Or else, what's that called? Being too repetitive. All right, everybody. 
I hope you've enjoyed this. So again, this was Thomas Eakins, the chess players. And uh, we wanted to look at how the color was arranged and where that was on the color wheel and start getting a little bit more familiar with color and how it works, right? How much we need. What if we use almost all warm colors? What does that look like? What does that look like? <clears throat> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, we'll be back in the morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for Morning Jump Start. Feedback for students. I think there's a charcoal drawing I have, and I'll see what kind of a... Uh, we'll just have to see what's in the mailbox. I'll have to take a look. Um, but as some of you guys get your color studies... Uh, started or once you get nice and lost and send them in so that we can work on those for our morning jump starts have a good night please like us subscribe appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye everybody thank you